It will be my pleasure to uh, show you the highlights of the ARRO study. The ARRO study is a phase three randomized trial in which uh, corfilzomib, once weekly at a dose of 70 milligrams per square meter, has been compared with the standard of car carfilzomib 27 milligrams per square meter twice weekly in combination with the dexamethasone in relapsed and refractory myeloma patients after two, three prior lines of therapy. 487 patients were included in this study and randomized one to one to receive once weekly K70 or twice weekly K27, always plus dexamethasone. The baseline characteristics of the patients were similar in both arms and the primary endpoint was progression free survival. And once weekly carfilzomib 70 plus dexamethasone resulted into a significantly longer progression free survival in comparison with a twice weekly carfilzomib at a dose of 27 milligrams per square meter. The median progression free survival for once weekly carfilzomib was 11.4 months versus 7.2 months for twice weekly carfilzomib 27. And in fact, so the superiority was observed across the time with a hazard ratio of 0.69. A secondary primary endpoint was the overall response rate. And again, so 63% of patients who received the once weekly carfilzomib 70 achieved at least a partial response, a significantly higher overall response rate in comparison with the twice weekly carfilzomib 27. Overall survival data are not matured yet, but in terms of safety profile, I think that the goods are very news. The, the news are very good because, uh, in spite of a longer treatment exposure for patients who received once weekly K70, the safety profile is uh, very well manageable, and uh, the frequency of uh, hematological, non-hematological, and also adverse events of a special interest like uh, hypertension cardiac failure, acute renal failure was almost identical in both arms. So I would summarize saying that in comparison with twice weekly carfilzomib 27, once weekly carfilzomib at a dose of 70 showed a more favorable risk benefit for relapsed and refractory myeloma patients. And in addition, the once weekly administration resulted into a more convenient schedule, especially for patients with problems to visit to the hospital twice per week.